Yo, YouTube, it's your boy D. Give you this week's episode of Sun and Charm, baby. Ooh. This is, I'm going to give you just a quick recap of the show. You know what it is. Uh, this is going to be like, I think it's episode 7 or 6. I'm not sure, but I'll put it in the description. Anyway, we find out that uh, Kelsey and Justin's relationship is not as smooth as it is because, you know, basically her... Kelsey's situation with Justin is that Justin, you know, doesn't cool her in situations, and he's basically making Kelsey more like a housewife, giving her like the, you know, have her live with him, but not really put a ring on the finger. Because remember last season, you know, everybody can tell him from, you know, Barry and all this to kind of, you know, marry. Kelsey and he kept avoiding, kept avoiding, saying he don't ever have enough money. Excuses, I don't have enough money. And I'm like, why do you a lawyer? You know, he's in Louisiana. I think he's an attorney. So he make, you know, decent money. I'm going say, say he don't have enough money. And Kelsey's an RN. So what do you mean you don't have enough money? Uh, what are you talking about? Y'all up there. I mean, you know, that's no excuse. I think he don't, he don't, like, he don't really love her. You know what I'm saying? And just using her just to, to be along. I think Kelsey wants to have the status of being married, but I think he knows that he don't that she, he doesn't really love her. And it's like he just I think he, she wants to be part of the show, and she going through it. You know, like a lot of women will go to, you know, how some women go to relationships with men or spouses, even men go, you know, just to be saying I have somebody, just to marry somebody because they feel like the time's up, the the, the time, the clock or whatever. Tell them they need to get married because the problem is she hitting 30 saying, okay, he's watching her friends get married. She just wants to be married. But it's like, you know, Kelsey, she, you know, he ain't really with you. He don't love you like that. He don't really, he don't want to, like, y'all been together for I don't know how many years. And y'all have been together so many years and that, that he ain't never mentioned a ring or repulse to you. He'll be stringing on for three, four years. He'll probably still have you as this status, like, yo, to live with, you know. Have you come in, do wifely duties, but not actually have the ring on it? So, I mean, it's up to it's up to Kelly. I would just be like, yo, I'm done and move on. But clearly, he don't love you. He might love you, but he ain't in love with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm bringing, and one of the scenes it was, I think he had to get some. He was in a car accident, or whatever. He's getting some type of neck surgery. I forget what it's called. And and Kelsey didn't know about it. He didn't, he didn't include it in the situation. He told her after the fact, so she feels some type of way, saying, like, yo, why you ain't telling me? It's like, you know, so he probably feels like you ain't wife of me, too, so I don't have to tell you. So he's scared, and he's getting, you know, and it's, there was one scene where he was, like, in the, in the hospital, like, he was drunk and stuff. And then, and then we got another scene with, uh, Justin. Not Justin. Jeff. Is it Jeff? Yeah, Jeff. Jeff. Who be wearing? He be wearing them shoes like he look like he going to the gay parade, my dude. He look like he going to the gay parade. Look like he showing out. Ain't nothing for the gay folks. I'm just saying he look like he just showing out. Anyway, you know, in the last couple of episodes he be drunk and he, cause you know, you know, Reggie been moving on. He's been married, moving on. And the man he be drinking, he be acting the fool. So if he don't know what how to do with do with stuff, he but he got his best friend, this friend who is there having the friends giving. And they cooking quail. I said, okay, cook, cook, cook in his hand. I ain't gonna say it. He's probably cooking some good food up in there. I said, okay, yeah, you better go ahead and act like you know what you're doing. You better know what you're doing. You're cooking the good food and what have you. So it was like, all right, Jeff, I see you play, boy. So you invited everybody there. Everybody's there, like from, uh, let's see, except Reagan. Reagan didn't show, he didn't invite Reagan. We fight Tamika, Kelsey. You know, John, a lot of other people there. I'm going to get that. I'm going to go back there to a minute. Speak of Reagan and, uh, not Reagan, Tamika and, uh, and Barry. Barry's son has been stopped by the cops a couple of times because he's been speeding. And Tamika's kind of, is concerned for, for, I forget what his son's name is because his black situation, because he's color of his skin. He feel like some of the police, that, Police officer was treated unfairly. So far, he hasn't had really had any problems with the police, and he and she wants Jeff to really, you know talk to him. He kind of avoided saying that I would, because even though he has a situation, the police stopping him at 25, 
And I haven't been stopped by police like that, but, you know, I ain't see situations like that. And I'm not saying all police officers are bad because my dad is a police officer, so they are, they have a hard job. But, you know, you got a few bad apples that make it hard for you, make it, you know, spoil the bunch, so to speak. So, and it's for, fortunate for black folks, not all black folks, but we tend to be targeted. Like, you know, and, you, you know, the fact that you have to have this conversation with your kids is sad. Like, I'm sure... I don't know anyone under anesthes under anesthes or rate coaches never have shouldn't have they usually don't have these conversations but we have to have a conversation with our kids about the police. Talking about, you know, they do just do what they say and all that, which is like crazy. Like you, you know, you shouldn't even have these type of conversations. So anyway, and he was he was tell his he was talking to the fellas at John's place and John's was cooking he was cooking some lamb chop. I said that lamb chop was looking good boy. I wanna take a bite of that, that screen boy have that lamb chop. Look at that lamb chop looking all well trying. And everybody shared this story for how, you know, even just to share his story how he was stopped by the police by, you know, at seventeen or whatever. It was it was a mo you know, it was like it was like, kinda of like a bonding moment, so hopefully, you know, you know, Barry tells his son what's going on with the police. And what else? And then you have Reagan and uh, Beast. I'm gonna call them double R's. <laughs> and they basically they got married, and Megan is pregnant, as you know. And she gave away for the wedding, and she, you know, they, they had things set up, and you know, they got the whole way getting pregnant, by the way. And you know, and I thought about Jeff. Jeff wanted to have a kid, and she couldn't have a kid. But as soon as the spot, she moved on, not only have a kid and, you know, getting married. You know how Jeff feels some type of way because actually his friend, close friend of his, told you know told Jeff the tea, and my man Jeff couldn't take it no more, and because at one point he was just devastated that everybody was everybody was waiting for the food, and he was just shocked that, you know, Reagan moved on. He blamed himself. Reagan moved on, getting married, and got pregnant. So he, it's like he, it's like a slap in the face for him. And Jeff, Jeff couldn't take it so bad. Couldn't take it so but that he was smashing the plates or what have you. Acting crazy. He was hurt. He definitely needs some. He needs therapy. He needs to get over. He needs to really. I'm not gonna say get over it because you never could get over it, but get through the pain. Get through the pain. And so that was pretty much the end of the episode. It wasn't a whole lot, but that was pretty much the end of the episode. Anyway, y'all, if y'all want. You know, if y'all have not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to the right to see more of my videos, comment my videos, like my videos, of course, share my videos. Anyway, this is your boy D. I am out. Holla.